What are you waiting for? Costa to kill another man in this tunnel? How many funerals you want to go to before you do something? Look, how can I call a strike? You tell me that. We still got a contract, haven't we? Contract? A contract to do what? Kill more men? You know he's been raising the pressure in that tunnel. You know there are men in that tunnel right now who are dying of bone death. They're not Irishmen, you know. They're a bunch of poor Sicilians. You make me so bloody mad, Mario, I could punch you in the mouth. You will get mad at Costa. You're the president of the union. Pull the men out. Look. Hey, Mama, what are you dragging those bags for? I told you I'd do the shop for you. When you shop, nothing is fresh no more. When are you going to close the tunnel, Mr. Oriodan? Mrs. Angotti. Hey, Mrs. Angotti, Mrs. Angotti. What's the matter? One man die is not enough for you. What are you waiting for, my son Angie to die? You've gained seven pounds. Hey, Becky, boy. Your heart won't take it. You know that, don't you? One of these days, you're going to drop dead just like that. Nail you like that. Then like Sofia Gardina's husband in that killer of a tunnel. like a mountain on my chest. How much pressure in the tunnel today? I don't know, 20 pounds, 21, something like that. Ah, oh, there's more. 30 pounds. What? 30 pounds, I bet you. At least 30 pounds. Look. Look how the water holds the earth, eh? 30 pounds. If Custis pushing 30 pounds, he's killing us. Kifo. 20 pounds. You haven't worked for Costa much, have you? He always sets the dial to reach 20 pounds. No matter how much pressure he pushes, always reach 20 pounds. He gets an extra hour a day from each shift. And he can move the tunnel faster without any shoring. Rispondi al telefono, stupido. Yes? Lanchetta, how much pressure are you pumping? What? Lanchetta, you hear me? Hey, you hear me? Costa, what's the trouble? Costa, how much pressure are you pushing? 20 pounds? He says 20 pounds. 30 pounds, I know. Fill the lock, Costa. It's not time. Fill the lock, I said! You wait till the new shift comes on. Costa! Costa. Just a minute. Just a minute. Angotti. Costa! Angotti. You hear me, Costa? Angotti! Angelo, take it easy. You hear take me? Take it easy, eh? The 
of the rock. Okay, it's 20 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, Marcello. Sure I'm right. 20 pounds from that. If it's the same, 20 pounds inside and out, the door will open easy. Push another 10 pounds. Angelo! Come on, Costa! They must have ended. Cosa ti interessi? Yeah, eh? I'll kill Costa. Angelo, ma dove vai? Per la misa di lì, qua. Let me out! Open the door! Angelo, are you crazy? Yeah, I'm in! Decompress! He'll kill us if he opens the door! Let me out, Costa! Angelo, quick! Get back! Get back! Too fast! Get back! Angelo! Get back! I beg you! Costa! Kill himself. Costa! Angelo, I beg you! Angelo, 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 the, the, the tunnel, quick! He's dropping the pressure too fast! Angelo, I beg you for the love of God! Angelo, please! Please, Angelo! Please! Angelo! What are you doing? The inspector checks those papers. Your father buys the inspectors. Come to me and call you. I'm warning you. Help me, Costa. You're killing men for an extra 90 minutes of shift time. Yes, they're waiting. No use, doctor. I had talked to her. I, I say Rosa two, three dozen times, but but no answer. Nothing. Mario, what happened? Ask them. Ask the Costas. Mr. Costa, I'm Steve Wojcik. Dr. Wojcik? That's right. Mr. Costa, what happened in your tunnel? What happened? Nothing happened. They got sick outside of the tunnel and in the street. Nothing to do with it. Too much pressure in the tunnel. We worked too long and too much pressure. It's God's truth. Angelo tried to kill him because he said stall to eat 20 pounds. But machines pump 30 pounds. I tell Angelo to decompress, but, but no, he, he gets too excited and... and your son, he lets the pressure out just like that. I'm gonna need more blood, nurse. You can't come in here. Get the blood nurse. Friend of yours, Steve? How is it? Pretty bad. May I? Oh, sure. It's no use, Steve. I've just shot so much adrenaline into the boy that... Steve? Come on, Angie. Come on. 
Breathe, Angie. Breathe. Breathe, Angie. Breathe. One lousy little breath, Angie. Forget it, Steve. months ago. No, he wanted to be his own man. He's going to get him a job with me in, in the union office. He wanted to be his own man. You happy now, Angie? You're your own man. You're independent. You don't need any favors. Angie, didn't I tell you that? Didn't I tell you, Angie? Angie, what am I going to tell Mama? Sweet Jesus. Angie. of you in my office at the coroner's building at 10 tomorrow morning. Mario? They murdered him. Mario, please. Mario, please. Please what? Don't get angry. I could tear this place apart. My brother is dead right in that room, and you stand there with your big eyes. Oh, please, what? Forget, huh? No. You put Angie in his grave, but he will live because I do not choose to forget. I'm telling you, I promise you both, one day I will dance in your grave. He was an angel. Mario, look at me. Please look at me. Hold me. Maria, let's go home. Maria! No. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'll show you what we're gonna do, goat. Hello. Uh, this is uh, WJ at 27. Uh, get me 243 uh, Well, hello? Costa. Listen, you know this, uh, this a corner, this a vote check, huh? Yeah, well, can he be bought? Will he take the money to keep his mouth shut? All right, then, how about somebody in the, in the government, his boss, huh? Half of the highway department's on my payroll. How, how much do he want, huh? How much? 
Yeah, the bigger the shot, the better the payoff, huh? All right, the phone him. Now. What, you baby or something? You need so much to sleep? And listen, tomorrow morning I want you should be in the coroner's office at 10 o'clock, huh? See, I'll be home in 20 minutes to so call me. That's what we're gonna do. Good. I gotta tell you everything. sentito gridare ma non hai potuto aiutarlo eh? Sì, no, you're just gonna see what it's like to see someone you love die in front of your eyes. If you think those tissue sections are bad, you should see the bone sections. Complete necrosis. You want to look, Arnie? Not particularly. Byron? Necrosis, hmm? Yes. Death. Death of bone cells, tissue cells. Who's the patient? The slides are not part of a biopsy, Steve. They're from an autopsy. You probably remember this one. Uh, here we are. Capuccelli? Was there an inquest? A year ago. It was Murray Shoals' inquest. You want the file? I can get it for you. No, 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 no. I, I remember now. Mr. Bateman, this man was crippled totally by caisson sickness. Legs, arms, he couldn't move. His wife had to dress him, undress him. He couldn't do a thing for himself. Except cut his throat. His wife told me the compensation board had accused him of malingering. Come on, Sergeant. If he were that sick, how could any doctor accuse him of malingering? It's very easy, Mr. Bateman. We know next to nothing about the disease. It's simple. I'd like to have a dollar for every well-intentioned doctor who's diagnosed caisson sickness as a, a little touch of rheumatism from working in the damp or ruptured blood vessels from using the pneumatic hammers. Hey, well, isn't anybody doing anything about it? I mean, now. Sure, we got regulations, but nobody's enforcing them. And the regulations, by the way, had to come from New York. We know so little about the disease, we didn't know what to regulate against. Frankly. Well, what are you doctors doing about it? What are you politicians doing about it? What can you do about it, Arnie? Mr. Bateman, the Italians are working in these tunnels and they know all about it. They call it bone death. Byron, get down to City Hall, one of the apartment buildings, and find out who's been okaying Costa Produce. And Byron, if you need any help from my department, search warrants. I'm not the one who needs the help, Mr. Bateman. Hello? Yes, he's in, please. It's for you, Arnie. Your office. Bateman. What? I'll be right down. You can forget about your appointment with Acosta, Steve. They were beaten up last night. The boy isn't expected to live. Novità ci sono sui giornali. Un operaio italiano muore sulla costruzione. Eh, purtroppo l'ho sentito oggi alla radio. Sono cose di tutti i giorni. È triste. 
Mi familia. Hello, Steve Wonder here. This is Byron Calgett. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I forgot all about it. I suppose I meet her there for lunch. Listen, if she calls again, tell her I'll be home six thirty, seven o'clock. Was she was she angry? Yeah, yeah, I know my wife's got a temper. How much, Otto? Oh, doctor. Have you seen Mario? Not since last night. Why? Just ask him. So he's not here. Well, what does that prove? Look, I could give you the names of 500 men in this city who'd love to see the Custers killed. But the Custers have got them so scared. Of what? Well, of losing their jobs, their homes, of being deported. It's Custer, you know, that brings them over here from the old country. He sponsors them. And he guarantees the immigration people that he'd give them work. Oh, they're scared, all right. They figure that if Costa fires them, they're going to be deported. He even owns the houses they live in. He charges them so much rent that they can never get enough money together to buy a place of their own. That's why you find three and four and even five families living in the same house. Just so that one of them, one of them, mind you, can get enough money together to buy a place of their own. Oh, they hate his guts. And they'll probably hate their own guts just as hard. Look, I'd like to show you something. Tony. Oh, Mr. Irvin. Well, there's not much wrong with that hand. You ready to go back to work? Oh, good as new. Doctors say one day, maybe two more. Good. He cut his hand in the machine. We thought he'd lose it there for a while. Well, how are the children? Oh, fine. Angela number one in her class. And your wife? Big like this. She's going to have a big boy. Uh, what happens if it's a big girl? <laughs> well, then we try again. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting all my manners. Tori, this is the chief coroner, Steve Warjack. He's asking questions about the costas. Scusa? Scusa. Not speak English so good. There you are, you see. There's the whole story right there. Tony? Costa owns him, body and soul. How are you, Mario? What's wrong with Tony? He walked by as if he didn't even see me. Mario? Did you hear about the Costas? Yeah. Did you have anything to do with it? When you got off that phone, you said you'd get even. Who'd you call, Mario? I was calling the undertakers to come and get Angie from the hospital. Where have you been? You're not the only patient on this floor, Mr. Costa. If you want special attention, you should get yourself a private duty nurse. I am paying for service. Shh, please I... keep your voice down. There are sick people all around you. Well, I am sick, too. Oh, you're not sick. You'll be out of here within 48 hours. I want something to eat. Very well, Mr. Costa. Ah. Uh, finally, you come to see your father. I've been with Filippo. Liar. You've been with Angotti. I've been with Filippo. Is the police arrested Angotti? Don't you want to hear about Filippo? What? He's out of danger. He's going to live. But he'll be blind in one eye. Well. What that man said last night, Marcello, was that true? Was Angie killed because the tunnel was dangerous? Did we kill Mario's brother? Mario! Mario, Mario, I'm sick of that name, Mario. Your brother is a blind because of that Mario. Mario wouldn't do a thing like that. He's Sicilian, no? Blood for blood. That's what they believe. No, that's what you believe. I'm Sergeant of Detectives Byron James. Are you the foreman? Scusa, foreman? The boss. Are you the boss? Oh, no, boss, sir. I don't mean Costa. Who's in charge now? I want to go into the tunnel. Who do I talk to? Scusa? What's your name? Name. Your name, uh, a nome. 
Oh, my name Bruno, Bruno Lanqueta. Now, Bruno, I want to go in tunnel, okay? You got one? About the time. Your lunch, Mr. Costa. What is this? That's your lunch. Well, you eat this garbage, not me. I'm sorry, that's what was ordered for you, and it's all you'd like to get. Sure. Maria, uh, call uh, what's his name at the restaurant. Uh, tell him to bring me over. Mr. Nice Costa, big. Costa, I can't let you. Maria! To make you clean that up. You get out. Maria, call the restaurant. No. Maria! Oh! oh. What do you want? Did you get a cold towel, please? I heard about your son, Mr. Costa. I'm sorry. Gee, you're sorry. I suppose your friend Dan Gotti, he's a sorry too, huh? He's a sorry he didn't kill my son. That's why he's a sorry. Did you recognize any of the men who beat up your son? I told you. It was Dan Gotti. You're a liar. Mario was with Needle after midnight. I saw him. You couldn't have. Shut up, you! I came here to help you, Mr. Costa. Well, maybe not you. Marie and Mario. And that maybe you could change the conditions in your tunnel. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to put you out of business, Mr. Costa. Dr. Wojcik? Could you drive me to Mario's, please? Mr. Hello? Bruno. What? Adesso uh, ascolti, Bruno. Stia attendo. Vai giù dentro il scavo. E metti le pressioni di 20 gradi. 20 gradi, capito? Ti raccomando che tutto sia perfetto. Uguale come scritto dentro il libro. Ciao, Bruno. Funny, huh? Bleeding stop.
Give it a no, 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 you got medicine to bring her husband back? Yes, sir. Oh, I knew him. When she was running away, oh, a poor villiolo. He had a sucky cose, niente ma sangue, sabia. Nothing but blood and earth. Yes, sir. Rosa. <laughs> Mario! Mario and Gotti! Let's see if you can find her son for the rescue team. What? Uh, your mother is pretty sick. Uh, Dr. Wojcik asked me to come and get you. Are you a friend of the family? Yes. Uh, you better come along. Come on. Don't get chubby, Blow. Come on, help us get her on the stretcher. Mario, what? give us a hand here. Come on, out of the stretcher. Grab her feet. Get that respirator! All right, let me Come on. Here. Let me see here. All right, let's go. Clear the way. All right, stand back, please. Get in there, Mario. My channel, you go along. Thank you. Okay. Now, Mario, hold that on her face until you get to the hospital. It's her heart. Yes. I've given her a shot. She doesn't have any pain. All right, my child, I'll get it to her. She's dead. I'm sorry. Wasn't anything I could do. I, I don't smoke. Who is your mother's doctor? Dr. Wardjack, Steve Wardjack. I'll call him for you, if you like. No, he was at the tunnel. He said he'd be here. <laughs> it was my brother and my mother. Killed both of them that damn tunnel. Take it easy. Yeah, what's it get excited about? That big, fat woman? God, she could cook. Can I get you some coffee or anything? No, no, thanks, no. It's funny, I don't, I, I don't feel anything. No, I should feel something. I mean, like you should. <laughs> Mario, how is she? I don't know. Doctor here says she's dead. What condition are people in when they're dead? I, I don't know. Hi, honey. hospital all night. Oh, darling. Sit down and have some coffee. Bacon and ham with the eggs. Whatever you got handy. How many eggs? How are the kids? Judy was kissed by a little boy yesterday, and she's sure she's going to have a baby. Did you tell her not to worry about it? I told her to speak to her father, the doctor. Good coffee this morning. It's always good. 
I missed you last night. Roseanne Gotti died. I'm Steve now. My poor family. Is there anything we can do to help Mario? We're so lucky. A little money, a little education, a little luck, that's all that separates us from us. Oh. Educational inquiry! I knew an army, I knew you would never come to see me unless you're trying to con me. Oh, come on, Steve, nobody's trying to con you. What happened? Somebody trying to cost buy somebody at the attorney general's office? Is that what happened? How much was your end to give you lay off? Steve, take it easy. We are talking about murder, Arnie. Murder. An accident? Murder! Costa ordered the compressors smashed so Byron couldn't get the readings. What compressors? Talking about Angela and Don. You're too late! Well, you're too late, Arnie. You goofed. I've already ordered the inquest. Byron's out right now serving the warrants. I have got Costa by the short hairs, and I'm not letting go. You cannot do that. What about the judicial inquiry? They can have the transcripts from my inquest. Arnie, how can you let them sell you this inquiry bull? Because I cannot afford to start a law practice at this time in my life, that's how. Well, you can go back to whoever sent you and tell them for me they can take their warning and shut it, along with their judicial inquiry. I'll get the newspapers to attend, and anybody else has got a pair of ears. Oh, Jack. And you lean on me, Arnie, and I'll summon you and make you repeat this entire conversation from the witness box. You wouldn't dare. Give your name and address, please. Francis Bentley, 225 Albershaft Crescent. What is your occupation, Mr. Bentley? I'm a construction safety inspector with the Provincial Department of Labor. Have you seen this pamphlet before? Certainly. It's part of the Department of Labor Act, governing the conditions of underground work. Did you, on the 31st of last month, inspect a tunnel for a new water main being built by Costa and Son? Yes, I did. And when after that? I beg your pardon? Did you inspect the tunnel again a week later? You mean a week after the 31st? First? Yes, Mr. Bentley, that's precisely what I mean. You're supposed to inspect the tunnel every week. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, you haven't been near the Costa project since the 31st. Is that right? Yes, sir. And what about before the 31st? Did you go there on the 24th, on the 17th, on the 10th, on the 3rd? Well, Mr. Bentley? I, uh, I think I was there on the 3rd. Can you tell the jury what this is, please? It's a record sheet. Every compressed air job has them. And what does it show? The air pressure in the tunnel and the number of hours each man has worked under that pressure. It's a safety precaution. Oh, really? Would you show this to the jury, please? The figures on that sheet should be written in such a way that, the f that they can't be altered or changed. Yes, sir. Will the jury please note that the names and figures on that sheet taken from Costa Projects are written in in pencil? Mr. Bentley, have you any idea of the effect of excessive pressurization on a man's body? Have you ever heard of casein sickness or bends? Well, we've all heard about that, you know. Would you like to describe it to the jury, please? Well, it uh, causes some dizziness uh, and cramps and a uh, little uh, discomfort in the ears. Have you heard the term bone death used for case and sickness? That's what the Italians call it, but you know, they're pretty emotional. I think I'd get pretty emotional, too, if my bones were crumbling or I was going blind or deaf as a result of excessive pressurization. You may step down, Mr. Bentley. Am I excused? No, Mr. Bentley, you just get out of the witness box. Oh, Lanketa. <laughs> the evidence which you shall give to this inquest on behalf of our sovereign lady, the Queen, touching the deaths of Silvio Caravetta, Alberto Galafaro, Antonio Iozza, Severio Lanza, and Luigi Staltari. It'll be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Sure, me God. 
Would you tell the jury your name and address, please? Bruno Lanchetta, 370 Flinders Street. You work for Marco Costa? You'll have to say yes or no for the recorder. Oh, you see, I work for Mr. Costa, block tender. On the day of the cave-in in the tunnel, did you speak to Marco Costa? I phoned him at the hospital. I tell him that man wants to go into the tunnel. Mr. Costa tell me to fix the compression machine, to make it go by the book. I need not remind the Crown that the last statement is uncorroborated. The Crown is grateful for the reminder. Costa, tell me, make it go by the book. Go by the book? What does that mean? Machine pump 30 pounds, should be only 20 pounds. So I fix it to pump 20 pounds, like he say. Mr. Linketa, you said you set the compressor to pump 20 pounds. You see, uh, yes. But 20 pounds uh, would have been enough to keep the tunnel from caving in. Oh, Dio. Dio, perdon me. I forget. I forget to make tie a little, little vite, a little, a, a little, a little screw on the bottom of the, how uh, do you Valve? Yes, si, valve. Machine hole. No strong on the ground. Checks. A little screw uh, falls out and five men die. A little screw that's big. And cinque, five men die. Two come from my own village, Ragusa. Mr. Coroner, I really feel Costa, to see the Mr. value Costa, of these statements. Dr. Wojcik. He told me. Mr. Costa was in hospital at the time of the accident. He's... This man's statement is a fabrication. You mean he's lying? Of course. No lies. He told me. He, he told me. You may step down, Mr. Lanket. Oh, I swear I speak the truth. Fine, Mr. Lanket. Ann Bennett. Call Ann Bennett. Ann Bennett? Evidence which you shall give to this inquest on behalf of our sovereign lady, the Queen, touching the deaths of Silvio Caravetta, Alberto Guedafaro, Antonio Iozza, Severio Lanza, and Luigi Steltari, shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. So help me God. Please give your name and address. Ann Bennett, 1430 William Street. What is your occupation, Miss Bennett? I'm a nurse at Midtown General. Where recently Mr. Costa was a patient. Yes, sir. Miss Bennett, before you came to Midtown General, where did you work? At the National Hospital in Rome, Italy. So you speak Italian? Yes, sir. Fluently. Did you hear a telephone conversation between Marco Costa and a man called Bruno? Yes, sir. Would you tell us about it, please? Hey, Steve. Well, Mario. Steve, you want another glass of wine before you go? No, thanks. I've had enough, thank you. Marty, Marty, you want to go? I got a glass no, right no, here? No, not for me. I haven't had so much wine in my life. Hmm. Mario? Hey, Steve. You're all right, you know that? Huh? You know that, Mrs. Wojcik? You're Steve. He's all right, eh? <laughs> This is Sicilian wine. It's, it's got blood in it. No tears. It's my brothers, my mothers. Ah. 
Have a drink, Maria. Ave Maria, gratia plena. Drink, my graceful Mary. Maria. You want a glass? I have a glass. No, I just no, thank got a you. glass here. No. Well, that's all right. It's all right. Hey. Is it all right with us? Danced at our wedding, all fat, all roses. She would have danced and laughed and called. We'll dance for her now, huh? No, yeah, come on. Come on now. Come on, Maria. Come on, Maria. Come on. Hey. Turn my to ling the fiori che vien bellamo. Come on, Maria. Come on, we'll dance for Rose, eh? Come on. On ma to ling the fiori che vien bellamo. She'll wake the street. The whole street is dancing, Maria. If they only knew that their street was dancing. Hey, we should wake them up and tell them, eh? Come on. Maria, come and dance with Mario, eh? Un mazzolino! 